We've got another first look at the blessed warrior armor set in Valhalla and when you parry, holy swords will rain down from the sky in a circle around you with any NPC in that sword circle being susceptible to holy light damage. And there's even more interesting abilities which we'll go through here in this video, but I think you've already guessed it. Even though it hasn't yet officially been confirmed at the time of posting this video, this will certainly be a helix pack as it's been found by Peda and Ibsarp in the game files and it also has two armor variations which we'll break down now. And let's first start with a saint version here it's described as being molded after a god with the blessing of a saint offering protection for body and soul and i think the description does live up to the visuals here to be fair as in my opinion it does do a good job of demonstrating a mashup between spartan and angel aesthetics but moving on to stats and i'm interested to hear your thoughts on this one because when equipped you're going to be picking up an increase in plus 20 heavy damage as the base stat perk but this is where it starts to get a little bit sporadic because whilst you do have it equipped you additionally increase damage dealt to enemies by 10% after a successful kill as well as reduce the damage received by 5%. Now the duration of this buff entirely depends on how many NPCs you kill in the specific kill window which lasts for 8 seconds and has a maximum stack bonus of 3 and a duration of 30 seconds. So in theory you kill 3 enemies within 8 seconds which triggers a 30 second buff window where your damage will increase by 30% and your damage reduction increases by 15%. Now that's my interpretation anyway and with a 20 second cooldown I don't think it is the worst stats I've seen on an armor set yet especially if you burn through enemies fast but I don't think it's great either but let's touch upon the visuals and with all of these helix sets the headpieces do seem to be the flagship feature and I don't think this is any different here the crafted horse mantle at the front of the helm is unmissable and the general design does bear solid visual comparisons to that of the Corinthian helmets used by the Greeks and Spartans where elite warriors would also wear plumes atop of their helmet retaining a similar design to the foot soldier but adding that feature to give themselves a bit of a intimidation factor towards enemies and from my understanding be recognized by fellow soldiers as someone of a solid stature. I'm also going to be touching upon more Greek and Roman influences in this set as I do think it's borrowed many aspects from AC Odyssey generally but let's first look at its counterpart the Blessed Warrior Royal version and as for stats the only thing that changes here is instead of the heavy damage perk it's switched out for a plus 20 light damage buff which I think works better with the weapon perks and abilities which we're going to cover in just a second because the silver from the saint set has also been substituted for purple and gold and I know it's not exactly a direct comparison but when I do see this set I can't help but feel that the similarities are there from the Praetorian Guard from the Gladiator movies and incidentally in ancient Rome purple was the color of royalty and a designator of supreme status and that's because making the color purple was expensive as it painstakingly came from snails in fact in imperial Rome only the emperor was allowed to wear purple so it became synonymous with power and it really does seem that this variation of the blessed warrior armor set is going for that kind of look additionally to me it does come across as part roman part spartan and part holy warrior angel if you kind of want to think of it that way with inflections of the purple royal color threaded in between the golden armor pieces in the armor set and if you've been with the channel for a while as we cover upcoming not yet released armor sets you'll know that i'm absolutely trash at identifying reskins so if you can see anything here which is familiar do let us all know down below in the comments and by the way if you have found the video informative or interesting so far and only if you wouldn't mind leaving a swift like down below i'd really appreciate it it really does help me out so thank you very much now let's move on to the sword of damocles and you may recognize this one as it played a big role in ac odyssey that also being called the sword of damocles but with a k and not a c with this particular weapon it was wielded by cassandra or an alexios depending upon who you played which you then went on to obtain at the end of the game and it was also a sword created by the isu scientist hephaestus during the isu war of unification granting the bearers of this sword power and leadership skills. It also shares the resemblance of the Odyssey version but it isn't exactly the same and I think that's for good reason as this is believed to be a helix shop purchase and not an official canon sword of Eden. When it comes to stats though this is where the magic happens for this set. The swords rain down from the heavens which make a circular area after you actually parry an incoming attacking game and those enemies that remain within the sword area receive a plus 20% increase to the damage that they take but the caveat being that they deal an increased 20% damage to use so it really is a double-edged sword mechanic here and in many respects just like the Damocles legend. The animation also has this really satisfying thud when the swords hit the ground. Listen to this. Oh,
So yeah, not bad sounding or looking at all to be fair. And with a 20 second cooldown, I do really think this is actually quite a decent perk for a weapon, especially when you combine this with the plus 30% damage buff that you get from the armor set. And any enemies that actually fall within this sword circle should actually get steamrolled once everything's activated on this particular armor set and weapon. Visually though, it follows this trend of the holy sanctified gold sword with a few inflections of purple dotted throughout. The orb in the center of the blade is a standout for sure. And I would say it's not for me personally, but I can understand why some of you would like this one. Next up, and we have the angel wing axe, which is described as being able to turn an enemy into an awful but impressive blood angel. And even though we can't make blood angels of NPCs in game, what you can do with this axe is shine heavenly light down onto the ground after a kill, which deals area damage with the cooldown being 15 seconds. Now it's not specified as far as I'm aware how much damage this effect does, but it certainly is designed to be used alongside the Royal Blessed Warrior armor set, taking advantage of that plus 20 light damage perk buff. And if you're able to get this to drop with your Sword of Damocles Circle, and on top of that, generate your three kills with that eight second buff to get you to that plus 30% damage, I've got a feeling that you're gonna pretty much one shot anything in the game or certainly get close to it if everything falls nicely for you. And and that is of course because there is a lot of dance steps to actually get to that point. It isn't my preferred playstyle personally, but there is a scaling and stacking damage option here with this set, and I think the animations are pretty cool, I'm not going to lie to you. Now visually, it follows the gold saintly aesthetic of this set that we've already discussed, and it does sound a little bit ridiculous to say, but it does look like a genuine sharp axe when it's been equipped in game, and I've got a feeling you're either going to like this or you're not. Now this pack doesn't stop there though, because we do pick up a lion mount with this set. It seems to be a trend with these latest packs actually, as well as a new raven skin that incorporates a golden stencil flare across the wings and I'm not sure if I'm particularly fond of this one to be honest with you but that said though even though I won't be picking up these tattoos myself I can appreciate the visual design and color montages for these ones I actually think they do look pretty cool and do stand out and as for the ship scheme well we're going to get one here it's what you kind of expect with this set I would think it's gold white silver and has a dash of purple incorporating again a lot of the designs that you're going to be familiar with as it takes a lot of what we've seen already in the armor sets and slings it together in a ship skin so nothing to shout home about in my opinion and i just want to say that this full presentation was only possible thanks to pedder and ibsarp as well as machine 4578 who i'm told has generously updated the program to make it possible for us to have a preview of all of this now i have no idea how they all do it but i do know that it's a lot of work behind the scenes so please do leave a like to show you support for them and we've also got new weapons to show you in the next video so if you haven't already do subscribe so you can stay up to date with valhalla and i'm sure i'll catch you over there in that video shortly if it's not already up right now and as usual Coffee is on me.